guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. In this video, we'll be featuring three street tactical female outfits. This was a request by one of my channel members and also something I've been working on a little bit just to show you. And I've also posted this on Instagram. So I appreciate you guys wanting to see this in a video. I know it's been a while, but we're gonna hop into this glitch and I'm gonna run through exactly how to put each outfit together. That way, if you have any questions, it'll be answered in the video. But of course, you can also pop over to the description or the comments for questions. So the first outfit we're putting together is going to feature the Gorka top. And we're be, we'll be selecting the blue and brown Gorka suit for that. I don't think this is something new, <laughs> but this is something that I didn't realize because I haven't played the game much in the last year. <laughs> And so you can actually change the bottoms on the Gorka suits without the top glitching away now, which is really cool. And so you simply just go to the bottom section and select whatever bottom you want. We're gonna be featuring um, one of these skinny jeans in this video because there's also another really cool thing that happens that's compatible now with these skinny jeans, which some of you might know that I wanted to show you. And so we'll be putting on the navy blue skinny jean. And then we are going to head over to the bottom section. And so we're going to put on one of the knee high boots. As we're scrolling, you can see that you can actually wear these knee high boots with the skinny jeans now. I've tried all different types of pants. It's only compatible with the skinny jeans as far as I know, but it looks really nice. Another cool thing that's happened with the latest update is you can now wear some of the, like the plate carrier looking utility vest with hoodies or with Gorka suit tops or just with other jacket styles that you weren't normally able to just add together. So this works on the male and female character, really interesting. So I wanted to incorporate it into this outfit too, since it is like a street style. So the one we're gonna be selecting is the navy plate carrier. And so it kind of blends in with the top a bit, but it also just kind of makes the rest of the outfit work together. So you can use any of those plate carrier style tops, whatever one you think looks the best with this outfit, or if you're creating it with a different color, of course, whatever you feel like matches for you. Now we're gonna add some accessories. We're gonna go over to the accessories section under gloves and then we're actually going to put on the brown armored gloves so those are the ones from the update before this i believe so it kind of ties in the top with the boots a little bit here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a gator and combat helmet glitch so i want to walk you through that in case you're not familiar with it if you don't already have these hats or masks purchased of course you'll need to purchase them prior to doing this glitch or going to the closet but you're first gonna put on the gator mask that you want. We're putting on the gray one. Then you're gonna put on a any of the dome biker helmets. I just put on the black spiked one. And then you wanna save that in an outfit slot. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to select the helmet that we're gonna be glitching onto this outfit. I don't believe I already had it purchased prior to making this outfit, so I wanna show you where it's at. We're gonna go under the hat section, go under combat helmet, and we're actually putting on the um, the police shielded riot helmet. And so it's the one that has kind of the shield in the front and it's like a darker navy blue, kind of like the rest of our outfit. So it blends in together pretty well. It's a little bit, you know, tactical looking. So it looks really nice with this outfit. So you wanna make sure of course that you have that purchased. You can also put it on if you want. Um, what we're going to do is actually register as a CEO and then we're going to open up our interaction menu and make sure that we have a couple of things set. So under style, you want to make sure that you have your bike helmet set to that police shield at riot helmet. Auto show bike helmet is on and then you can have your visor up or down, whatever your preference is. Once you have registered as a CEO, you're going to go to management and then go to style, and then you're gonna scroll right once to founders. You also need to make sure that you do have that original outfit that you save selected prior to doing this that has the dome helmet. So you wanna get on the bike, 
Once you start to put on the helmet, you want to scroll back left to none, and you'll see that the gator and that helmet actually glitch together. You want to quickly save that outfit. Um, I believe it's usually better to save it at the counter of the clothing store, that way it does kind of stick. But I'm going to show you a trick to make it re-glitch on without doing the entire glitch again. So you see if you like change the outfit at all or you try to switch the outfit, the gator mask actually goes away. Or maybe you actually wanted to wear it with the visor up. You can go ahead and make that change in your interaction menu. And we're just going to do the same thing here with the bike. You're going to select the saved outfit as you sit on the bike. And so to do that, you just scroll up to parachute, you press to sit on the bike or enter a vehicle, and then you scroll back down and select that outfit as you sit in or sit on. And then you see it just glitches back together, really simple. The same glitch works for the bandana as well as the biker helmet um, mask or the biker mask too. So for the second outfit, we are going to be using one of the new outfits with the new heist that has the pockets on it. Um, and so I want to show you two different outfits with these same pockets. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to glitch off the utility vest for one outfit um, or merge together uh, torso one, which is a really popular gl glitch right now that doesn't require component transfers, but you can still merge. And so I've showed this in the past, but I wanted to show you specifically how to do it with this outfit. So the pouches are actually a, an accessory or like a necklace. They're not um, a top or armor or anything like that. So the cool thing is you can already go ahead and just change the pants on this outfit if you like the combination of the top and the vest and the pouches. But if you do change the top at all, um, if you change the utility vest or if you change the top underneath, it glitches the pouches away. That obviously kind of ruins this outfit for us. So that's not what we want to do. Um, I'm going to be showing you this, uh, this torso one merge or this non-component transfer merge again in this video because it's something not a lot of people know about yet. And so you do want to make sure that you remove the helmet or the hat that you're wearing and you want to save that in slot number two or just wherever. And then you also want to make sure you have one of those heist coveralls purchased. So you're going to head to any telescope and you're going to run at the telescope and then hold right to look into it. What happens is you don't actually look into the telescope, you just kind of stop in front of it. And then you're going to select that saved outfit with the pouches on it. You should have the chemical mask from that heist coverall outfit saved on there. And you want to resave over the slot you had saved prior. So now we're going to have to force a save. There are a couple of ways you can do this. Typically I just select the outfit quite a few times and then head outside of my building or you can take the easy way out, you can buy ammo. Really what you're looking for is in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, a little orange circle will appear and that's just kind of telling you that the game has saved. If you're cautious or if you've done this quite a few times and it's just not working for you at this next step, you can try closing your application redoing it again, finding a new session, but you just want to make sure that your outfit has saved before you go into any mission. So we're going to start up a Rockstar created job and we're going to start up a Titan of a job. You can start that up completely solo and when you spawn in, you should have that chemical mask on. If you've got like the black kind of baggy hood on, you need to redo that step and make sure you force to save. You're then going to head to Ammunition. You can see that the utility vest glitched away and you just want to resave that over the spot in slot two. So I just want to quickly show you that while you're in the job, you can't really do anything to this outfit. Um, if you try to change the service shirt in the job or if you try to change really anything else about the outfit, you're going to kind of compromise it. So you don't want to do that. You just want to save it and leave it alone. But what we are going to do in the job is we're going to go ahead and set up the merge slot. So in order to merge in a Rockstar created job versus job called Crooked Cop, you kind of have to have an item with a merge component and then something to merge onto that outfit. So we're going to be merging um, a torso one layer. Examples of torso ones are all of the belts, you know, the racing suit, the cop, the air racing suit, the paramedic, the gun belts, any shirt that technically can go under or with a jacket layer is considered a torso one. We're just going to be merging together one of the air racing suit belts um, with the, the pockets and with the service shirt. 
So again, this is a non-component transfer merge. What you do need to also make sure is that you save whatever you're merging in the slot before or after that merge, that merge outfit. So you're gonna quit the job through your phone and now we're gonna immediately load into your Rockstar created job when you load back into a free mode session. From here, it's pretty simple if you know how to merge, but we're gonna set that to player owned clothing. You wanna invite some people. You do need at least one person to join you in this job. So I usually just do matchmaking open, invite skilled match players. You're gonna get into the outfit selection screen when you load in. And this is where you're gonna go down to owned outfit. You wanna to scroll to the outfit that has the item you want to merge and then scroll back or forward to the outfit slot with the item you're merging onto. So I hope that made sense if any of you are new to merging. If not, just play around with it a little bit. You'll understand when you're actually doing it. From here, we have to make sure we can take this outfit out of the job. So you just need to change something on the outfit. Easiest, quickest, best thing to do is open up your interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and go left once. So you just need to quit the job through your phone and then we are going to save this outfit in the third slot, uh, just replacing that um, air racing suit that we originally had saved. So we're gonna come back to this outfit at the end to complete it, but I want it to take you back in to a mission and show you how we're actually gonna change the top underneath of these pouches without doing a component transfer glitch or without doing anything that we haven't kind of already done. So if you've done Crooked Cop and then gone into a mission afterwards, you've noticed that you load back in with that outfit you had on in Crooked Cop. So that's kind of what we're doing here. We're just gonna load back into the mission. It pulls up the same outfit we had in Crooked Cop before we merged. And then we are just gonna save that on outfit slot number two. I do wanna show you again that when you're in the mission, if you try to change a top, nothing happens. So we need to quit the job through our phone we'll load back into an online session, and then we're going to change the style of top underneath the patches, or the pouches, <laughs> without the pouches actually glitching away. And so, of course, like all good things, you're limited to the style of tops you can change it to, but you'll be able to select quite a few of the tucked service shirts, so like the short sleeve ones. You'll also be able to select quite a few of the other armored shirts or other service shirts, so long sleeve or short sleeve ones. So you have quite a few options here on different color styles or just different things in general that we wanted to wear with these pouches. And this just allows you to make something a little different and a little special um, instead of just the shirt that comes with it <laughs> or merging something onto it. So I'm actually gonna select under the tucked service shirts the black short sleeve tuck service shirt, save this outfit, and then I'm gonna head to a clothing store so I can complete the outfit. So this should get pretty easy here after this. We're going to the cargo pants section. And then if you scroll to the bottom of the cargo pants list, we have like the older style of the cargos and we're just gonna go with the woodland camo cargos. And then under the shoes section, we're just gonna put on some black plain high top sneakers. Don't forget this is a street tactical style outfit video. So you're not gonna see a lot here that looks military grade, just street stuff. And then we're gonna add some accessories here. We're gonna go to the gloves. We're gonna add some, um, either the black armored gloves, I couldn't really decide, or the, um, the black like biker gloves. I think the armored gloves look pretty good with this though. And then I'm gonna add some cuffs as well, just to give it a bit more of a kind of rustic or grungy feel. We're gonna add the gauntlet cuffs, the black one. So there's one for each wrist, left and right. And then we are going to add one of the Diamond Casino scopes. So I think I've showed this in a video before, but I haven't seen many people do the switch. I think it looks really, really cool. So I wanted to show you it again. It's literally so easy. But if you go to the hat section, go under Diamond Casino, and then go under one of the Scope Night Vision um, helmets, we're gonna select the Sage one. So it's kind of like the same green color as everything else. And then open your interaction menu, go to Style, Accessories, and Gear, and go left once to Earpiece. You'll see that it glitches away that mask. So you can save this really easily. 
um, at the clothing store. You can put the helmet visor up or down, whatever you prefer. Turn off or on the night vision, whatever you prefer. And it just looks really, really nice with this outfit. It makes it a bit more tactical. So you can, of course, add a parachute to this outfit as well to complete it if you like. But we are done with this outfit. I'm just going to go save it again at the counter in the second slot. And then we're going to complete that third outfit we had saved with the merge belt. So for the third outfit, after you select it, we are going to go into the pants section. Under the Arena Wars pants, um, there's like a white stitched leather kind of pant near the bottom of the list. That's the one we're going to put on. Um, you'll notice that when we change the pants, it doesn't actually change the top at all. So it still works and looks really good together. I'm also going to be wearing the black flight boots with these bottoms. You should be able to just put them on normally, but if you're having issues with that, you can always put on a pair of the team pants first. Um, change the style of boots that you're wanting to wear with that, and then you can change the pants. And it should kind of glitch those boots on a little bit. As you can see me do here, I'm going to go to the shoe section. And then I decided I wanted the black scruffy boots instead of just the regular black flight boots with this because they were a little more um, like grungy looking <laughs> and it worked out pretty well. And then I'm going to go to the accessory section and under gloves, I'm going to put on the black fingerless gloves. You may also have noticed if you're new to the game or you just didn't know this before, you do unlock additional styles of gloves with long sleeve shirts. Now we need to head to any closet at the clothing store or even at your own house in the game. And we're going to glitch together a combat helmet and a biker mask. And so it's really easy. First, you need to put on a in any of the biker dome helmets and then go to mask, go to biker, and then you can select one of those biker masks. Um, so this is a way that you start off any of these glitches. But then we're also going to put on one of the combat helmets. And so... You just need to purchase it. You can either put it on in the closet if you'd like, or if you don't already have it purchased like I don't, um, you do need to go to the outfit section to do that. So it's not a true glitch. It's just putting things on in a certain order, if that makes sense. So we're going to put on the Brushstroke Advanced Helmet, which is new with this latest DLC, and it matches the shirt we're wearing and the rest of the outfit. Save that in the third slot, and then we're done. So those are the three street tactical style outfits. I really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and watching the video. If you have any questions, leave some comments, and I'll see you soon in the next video.